Hello, welcome to Java video tutorial Java Swing Hello One using text editor with me, Nam Ha Ming. I am a passionate Java programmer, and you know, I've been working with Java for more than 11 years since uh, 2005. I am founder of CodeJava.net, which is one of the most popular Java programming pop websites. I am also a Java expert coach for 190 programmers around the world. Today, in this video tutorial, I am going to show you how to write a Java Swing Hello World program using a text editor. In this video tutorial, you will learn how to create a window using a JFrame, how to use label. Using a JLabel class, how to use a text field using the JTEC field class, how to use a button using the JButton class, how to use a symbol layout manager flow layout, how to handle the click event of the button. Uh, to display a simple message box and how to compile and run the program using the Java C and Java commands. What will we view in this tutorial? Here's the sketch of the program. You see. I'm going to write a swing program uh, look, look, looks like this. It looks like this. It's a small window with uh, a label. How much water should I drink? A text field to enter the weight and a button tell me. On click of this button, a message dialog appears saying, uh, Buddy, you should drink the amount of water a day. And this is a formula we reuse in this program. The amount of water you should drink a day equal to the weight. Divided by 10 and multiply by 0 0.4. Okay, so that's very clear. Let's, let's go to build this uh, swing program using a text editor and uh, the version of Java. I'm I am using in this tutorial is ZDK8. Okay. Here's a text editor which I am uh, using to write the program. The text part editor. You can use any text editor of the choice. Okay. And this is a command line in which I will show you uh, how to compile run the program. Okay, let's start. Here we are going to create a class 
可哦，我的。看，我的 app OK， and save this file， di Java， create a new folder， with the app， and、uh, name the file name same as the class name， with the app。Java extension save okay and create a main method public static y main uh an array string and arguments. Okay, fine. Very good. And to work with Swing, we need to import the Java dot Swing package. Import Java dot Swing dot Asterisk. Okay. Save the file and let's check uh, our Java compiler and Java runner to see if everything is okay to compile run the program. I change the directory to the location where we store the source files. The Java with the app, okay. And Thai Java version, and you will see the on my computer the Java version is one point eight. Y zero update one oh one and Thai Java C version to see the version of the Java compiler. Also, it is also one point eight point zero. Now let's try to compile and run this uh, program first. Uh, Compile Java C and the file name would the app for Java. Import Java. Package Java Swing. Sorry, the correct package is Java X Swing. Not Swing. Compile again. That's fine. And run the program using the Java command. Java would up enter. You see nothing display, but the program has run successfully because in this main method, uh, we do nothing. Okay, let's continue. Let's uh, go back to the uh, sketch, the diagram. Here, and first we need to create a window that look like this using the frame. So we make the width up, extend the Z frame class, and create a constructor. Public width up. In this constructor, we call the super constructor of the Z-frame class and pass in the window title with the calculator. Okay. 
and we need to set the size the window size using the set size set dimension set, set size method for example um, 480 pixel in width and uh, 200 pixels in height okay next next we need to make this frame visible on screen so we go set visible no not best set visible here uh, we need to now in this um, main method we create a new instance of this uh, uh, frame new is a frame sorry new word app set visible to this statement uh, makes the, uh, the window visible on screen now let's uh, combine run the program compile okay so far so and run and run the program boom you see there's a small window appears with a title water calculator and nothing and nothing in the window okay Close. You can notice when I click the close icon, the program is still running. As you can see here, and we need to terminate the program by pressing the Control plus C. Okay. Uh, we need to set the default close operation to exit on close set default close operation J frame exit on close ok uh, now compile again and run again this time when I click the Close icon, the program uh, terminates. You see, the program terminates normally. So far, so good. Next, uh, we need to Next, we need to add a label, the text field, a button, two labels. The first label displays the, the text, how much water should I drink, and the second display the text, my weight, the a text field, and a button. Okay. Let me arrange the workspace. We'll play a little bit for more convenient. For example, here's the image. Okay. And uh, okay, yeah, so I can see the, the, the picture and the text editor at the same time.
and uh, also the put the window command prompt here very small enough okay and clear the screen okay let's continue now I create a private method to init the component for the frame init components Okay, and uh, call the init components here. Okay, now we declare the member variables for the labels text field and button private j label label question equal label question and label with Okay, then we'll wait in uh, a text field. Is a text field field uh, with okay and a button private J button button tell me okay. Now let's initialize, let's construct this uh, components in the init components method. Label question equal new J label and uh, pass the text as an argument to the constructor. How much would uh, should I drink? Okay. And do the same for the label with new the label my weight. Kilogram. Okay, and next we initialize the uh, text field field with equal new Z text field and pass the size of the text field in as an argument to the contractor. For example, five. Okay, and next we contract the button. Button tell me equal new the button, and uh, we pass the caption button caption as an argument to the contractor. Tell me, okay. And next, we need to set layout for the uh, window for the, the frame. For simplicity, I we use flow layout, which uh, arrange uh, components uh, in a flow from left to right. Okay. Uh, 
equals method set layout new low layout okay and then we add the components to the the frame called the add method add label question okay and now try to compile Ruta app again. Ruta app dot Java. Set layout. New flow layout. We all have a error here because we need to import another package which is uh, import Java dot awt awt stands for uh, abstract window toolkit okay now uh compile again oh sound good and run again boom you see there's a label appears here very good Now we need to add uh, another label followed by a text field and followed by a button. Uh, add label with add uh, field with and add button. Tell me. So far, so good. Now, let's compile it and run again. Boom! You see? You see all the components appear here in a flow. In a flow from left to right. Okay. And when I shrink the window, uh, it appears very similar to the picture. You see, very similar. <laughs> very good, so far, so good. So that means I need to shrink the window size smaller. Okay, no problem. So I change this width and Height. I think it's uh, around 100, 120, and the height is around 100. Let's try. Let's try. Close the program. Compile again. Run again. Oh, too small. Too small. That means. I need to increase value. I think it should be two hundred and one hundred and fifty pixel. Compile again and run again. Sorry, and run again. Boom. Better, it better, but the title, the Windows title, is not full, so I need to, I think, it's increase a little bit, maybe 220, no, 240. Now, compile again, run again. Wow, very good. It looks similar to the picture. You see? Yeah, so far so good.
let's close the program clear the command line from next uh, we need to write a method that calculate the amount of water based on the weight uh, following this formula you see water equal the weight divided by 10 and multiplied by 0 0.4 so we write a new method private um, for example this should return the float number can let what the amount and you can guess the parameters must be the weight not weight okay and this Mm, this method simply returns the amount of water uh, according to the formula return weight divided by 10 and multiply by 0 and 4 okay The 10 number here should be a float, so we need to add the F suffix. Okay. Next, we write code to handle the click event of the button. When the button is clicked, we display a message dialog like this that shows the amount of water ok now let's add to handle event in swing we need to import the packet java.awt.event ok and add an event handles for the button you can tell me dot add action listener This method accepts a class that implements the action listener interface. So I make this class implement the action listener action listener this action listener interface defines a method action perform so we need to override the implement public void action perform with uh, the parameter is an action event object ok and because this uh, class with the app is an uh, action listener we can pass the, this this uh, as a uh, argument to the action listener method this statement uh, 
this statement means that the, this class an action listener implementation we handle the event of this button and when the button is click this method is invoked this method action perform is called now we tie something here to test system dot dot green line clicked and compile the program again and test it compile boom possible loss sorry so we need to we need to add the F suffix here because uh, by default decimal literal is a, a double compile then ok and run again and again and try to click this button click you see when I click click the button the, the click message is display in the command line that means uh, this method is called okay close the program and in this event uh, handle method we need to display a message block like this with a text showing the email of water okay so we need to construct a string first okay string message equal But the you should drink uh, you should drink zero to F of what a day. And to display a message dialog like this, we use uh, the option paint class. The option paint class and call is static method. So mm, let me remember. So message dialog. Yeah, I pass the string message. Okay, let's compile again and test it. Compile again. No suitable method method file. I think this method. Here yeah, you can see the correct signature of the method is so message dialog with two argument, two parameters the first is the component and the second is the object so I modify this uh, this okay compile run again compile again run again oh very good and click tell me wow awesome you see when i click the button a message dialog appears the message is not we really expected so we need to continue update the code now you can simply you can delete this okay now need to cause a calculate water amount 
calculate the amount but we need and we need to receive the value of the text field so uh, fill with get text okay and convert it to a float float with equal because the text get text method return a string so we need to use a float dot pass float okay And pass the weight here and assign what the amount equal. Okay, now we update the string. Yes, is equal string format. We use the string format method to format a formatted string with the arguments. Here the message and the argument is the word amount. You see, okay. Oh, let's try a combined run again. Combine run again. Now let's enter. Mm. My weight is 70 kg and click tell me Wow! Exactly what we expect You see, I enter 7 as the, the weight and the message Tell me that, buddy, you should drink 2.8 of water a day oh. Uh, we are missing the little, little. Okay, so we upgrade it. Little here, and we change the uh, two to one here, and a combine run the program again. Run again. And enter seventy and click tell me. Wow, that exactly what we expected. Buddy, you should drink two point eight liter of water a day, exactly as we designed. Mm, very good. Now let's try another. For example, if you waited uh, eighty kilogram. You tell me, buddy, you should drink 3.2 liter of water a day. Awesome! So far, I have shown you how to develop a Java Swing, a simple Java Swing application that can collect the amount of water. Which uh, one should drink uh, a day based on the formula? And let's uh, come back to the slide. Come back to the slide. I hope this video tutorial is helpful. Uh, for you uh, to learn uh, Java Swing programming, to stay connected with me, please subscribe to my YouTube channel, youtubecom Java. Also, connect, make friends with me via my personal Facebook profile, facebookcom programmer and visit the website Kozava.net for more tutorials about swing and don't forget to like Kozava's fanpage facebook.com slash Kozava for latest update about the programming and 
one more thing uh, if you haven't joined my new Lester program let join my new Lester program to get my unique emails about Java programming newlester.cozava.net and thank you for watching Nam Haming the best in Java programmer. See you in the next video.